Hello YouTube viewers, Computer Programming here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the templates and layout for the RS body scripts with the GUI. First off, open up NetBeans, go to Tools, Templates, scroll down to Swing GUI Forms, click once on the JFrame form, click Duplicate, and find it, and rename it. Call it what do you want, whatever you want. Just make sure you remember it as a reference for that you know it's a GUI, GUI template for our body. Hit enter and click open in editor. First off, delete public. Then after the the dollar signs quickly brackets, names quickly brackets, type in GUI. Do the same thing to the one below it, but put it and put it bar before the parentheses. Do the same thing down here. Put it before the parentheses. Oh my bad, you delete that. So after that's done, and go to the link in the description, copy, paste it below the author. If you want, you don't have to. That's just where I'm putting it. Then cup, take this out, put it at the very top. And you have that done. Click save. And right click on source packages or default packages. Go to new, other, swing UI forms, find um, whatever you called it. Next, call it whatever you want. I call mine layout GUI. Finish. And add two buttons to this quickly. Rename one to OK. Double click it. Then up here under the class layout GUI GUI or whatever you have it, whatever you have it called. And yes, there is supposed to be a GUI at the end. Even if you get, even if you name your script with a GUI at the end, there's going to be another GUI at the end. There has to be one. Even if you already have one, then there'll be two. If you have two, then there'll be three. So yeah, after under underneath it, type in public boolean start, then um, put a semicolon on the at the end. Make sure start ca starts with a capital S. Then right here, deletes the to do. Type in start equals true. Then set visible false. Go back to the design. Rename this to cancel. Double click it. Delete the to do. Type in start equals false. Then type in set visible false. What this does is it assigns the value true to start if you click this button and it um, makes the form not visible anymore as you see here set visible false and up here this is where it opens the opens the form and after it's open it's gonna continue to do this into, until it's not open or while it is open as you see here while script UI is visible the script UI is defined right here as a layout UI UI which is this class right here in its uh, form. I mean, it assigns the value as a new layout GUI GUI and then sets it visible. True. And while it's visible, it sleeps 100 milliseconds. Then when it, once it's not visible, it's going to read the script GUI dot start, which is this variable right here. And if it's true, it'll return true, which will execute the loop. Now this is the base is the same thing as that. It's just without it saying true. But this does mean true. If it's if you click the other if you click the cancel button it'll set it to start equals false, set visible false, which the set visible false will end this loop. It'll go it'll check, see if it's true. If it's not true, which is equals false, it'll return false and it won't execute whatever's in the loop and it'll go to whatever's in the on finish. So, once again, 
Do not delete the GUI at the end of it, so even if you already have like four or five GUIs there. There will always be one more than you have. And follow all the steps in in, the, in this video because they are crucial. Because you cannot ha not have you cannot have two classes that are named the same, or you'll get an error. Um, and do not delete all the other random mumbo jumbo like this. Or once again, it will not work. So if you have any other questions, comments, requests, or anything like that, just message me, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and try to help you out. Thanks for watching.